Dan from Math for Love here with another subtraction puzzle. This one is my subtracting reverses puzzle. Here's how it works. We pick any two digit number. I'm gonna start with um, 34. So I'll start with 34 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the positive difference between 34 and its reverse, which is 43. So uh, I'll do the big one first, 43 minus 34. And that equals, uh, well, actually, 44 minus 34 would be 10, so 43 minus 34 is 9. And why don't I go to another color just for fun? Um, then I take the answer and I keep going. So 9 minus its reverse, well, the reverse of 9 is just 9 again, so 9 minus 9 is 0. Um, I'm kind of ending when I get to 0 because there's nothing more to do if I just keep reversing that. So, um, in two steps, I got to zero. One step, I got to nine. Okay, that's how it works. So uh, let's see what else could happen. Let's try a different number. Um, maybe I'll try... What if I try, I don't know, 72? So 72 minus its reverse is 27. That'll be... Have to do a little work here. Uh, looks like it's 45. You can double check me on that. And then I'll go to my second color. Uh, 45. Let's keep that up. 45. Oh, well, I want to do the big one first. So 54 minus 45 is, that's actually kind of interesting. It's 9. And then uh, I'll go to another color. Um, 9 minus 9 again is 0. And once again, I'm done. That's kind of interesting. Um, so I got to 0 both times. Okay. But what's really weird is I hit 9 on the way both times. Now, will I always hit 9? Or did I just pick numbers that happen to hit 9? And that's a trick. Uh, the other thing that's really interesting to do here is to take a 100 chart and color coordinate it. So when I started with 34, uh, I got to red, so maybe I would just like color 34 red or circle that one. I got to green, which is my next color when I started at 72. So if you just color coordinate your 100 chart, you can keep track of the data and keep track of this information of how many steps it took you to get to zero each time. Will it always hit nine on the way? Uh, will there be some amazing pattern to find in the colors? So these kind of problems that are so natural, I always think that if you can just organize it in some really cool, natural way and get some color on there, you'll be able to see something. That's my challenge for you. What will happen if you try this with all the numbers? Will there be anything that doesn't go to zero? Or will everything go to nine even? And uh, what kind of patterns will you find along the way if you color how many steps it takes you to get to zero each time. Good luck.